Hey everyone, it's Jack from The Training Arcade here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the instructor-initiated and instructor-led feature that's available on The Training Arcade. Many of the games on The Training Arcade are self-paced, meaning your players will navigate to the game you've created and complete the course on their own time. With the launch of the instructor paced features, you can now create a trivia game and control when your players have access to the game and its content. To enable the instructor initiated or instructed led features, navigate to the Training Arcade's Game Builder. After you have logged into the Game Builder, create a new trivia game or edit an existing one. With the game selected, click on the Game Settings tab at the top of the page. Underneath the Game Information section, Click on Game Mode Menu. A drop-down menu will appear with three options, Instructor Led, Instructor Initiated, and Standard. Select the Instructor Led option and save your game. Launch the game, and you will notice that an on-screen message that reads, Waiting for Instructor to Initiate the Game. This is what the players will see at this point during the Instructor Led games. Navigate back to your other tab with the Game Builder. In the left-hand column, click on the Instructor tab. All of your games with the Instructor-led and Instructor-initiated features enabled will appear here. Click on the name of your game with the Instructor-led option enabled. Welcome to the Instructor Paced Portal. As the Instructor, this is a screen where you can control the pace of the game for your players, view the current status of the game, and see live results. Clicking on the Initiate Game button will start the session for your players. After clicking this button, notice that the current status in the Instructor Portal changes from Awaiting Initiation to Initiated. As the status suggests, during this phase, players will be able to read through the in-game tutorial and set their initials for the leaderboard. They will be unable to continue until the game has been started, and an on-screen message that looks like this will display. To start the game, click on the Start Game button. The status in the Instructor Portal will reflect the game's current started state and reminds you to click the Next Question button after your players submit the responses for each question. As the Instructor, you will be able to see live response data flow into the Player section at the bottom of the Instructor Portal. If you see a question with low correct response rates, you'll be able to see it immediately in this section and can address it right away. This tool allows the instructor to tailor their training based on the player's responses if desired. If you've added a poll to your trivia game, you can click the Poll Results button in the Instructor Portal to display the results to your players. The Instructor Initiated feature functions almost identically to the Instructor Led feature. The difference is the instructor can only choose when to initiate, start, and end the game session for Instructed Initiated. Once the game is started, players will be able to respond to each question in the game without stopping. The trivia game transforms quizzes and assessments into fun, competitive, and engaging games filled with points, leaderboards, streaks, and prizes. Combine it with the instructor pace tools, and it's ideal for boosting engagement, knowledge retention, and rewarding learners for quick and correct decision making. Once again, I'm Jack from The Training Arcade, reminding you to be the hero and bring the fun.